suturing a standard flanged indwelling catheter. So we have a standard catheter with flanges attached. We'll go over how to suture it. We're going to be using some 3O silk and some uh, straight needle drivers. Grab your silk, pull it out. I tend to hold it not clamped tight, but just with pressure. Okay. I'm right-handed, so I'll start with my right hand and start on the right side. There's no true correct way, except you can go from the outside, create your bite under the skin and come up through the hole. But some people have problems getting the needle tip through the hole. You can also go the other way down through the hole and then up through the skin. My preference is to start from the outside and go in. It doesn't matter if you start top, middle, bottom, whichever, just as long as you have a good bite and then coming up through the, the hole, pull, leave yourself a couple inches and then drop the needle to then take, have your needle drivers open and as long as you have three knots in a descending fashion. So I'll do a three, two, and a one. So one, two, three. Grab the end, pull it taut. One, two. Grab the end, pull it taut. One. Grab the end, pull it taut. You can have four knots or five knots. Um, it doesn't matter, it just makes the knot bigger. Three is the minimum. Cut. Now, the other side. Most people being right-handed. Now, if you're left-handed, you would start with, if your left hand is dominant, you could start on the left side and go that side first. So with being right-handed, most people will then try to start and initiate this side. But I find this increases your risk of getting a stick from the suture. So I say, trust in the force. Use your left hand to initiate going through. That way, your hands are separate, they're not crossing, and your chance of actually getting a needle stick is much lower. So again, my preference is to start on the outside working in. Give yourself a couple inches. Drop the needle. And then, one, two, three. Pull taut. One, two, pull taut, one. Three, two, one, three, two, two, three, three, two, one. As long as there are three knots in a descending knot fashion, tying fashion. You can then discard your sharp. And then the final point is securing it with an opsite. We tend to use or prefer to use the um, Tegaderm IV advanced option. And you can take off this securing one. Bring it over just on top of the the uh, cannula hub, leaving the connection hub free, securing it, the mannequin skin doesn't stick as well, and then you can, if you apply and rub over the tegaderm, it becomes more translucent, which actually helps it stick better. 
can finish with this.